Well, please, Madam Sophie here again to do another eyeshadow tutorial. Today, I'm going to be doing an eyeshadow look only using the Natasha Denona Mini Eyeshadow Palette. This is the Lila Eyeshadow Palette from the Natasha Denona Collection. Um, apart from this eyeshadow palette, Natasha does have, I think, up to four to five other eyeshadow palettes that you could choose from, from her mini eyeshadow palette selection. This is actually going to be my very first time um, buying anything from that cosmetic line, as well as my very first time owning a palette from this um, cosmetic line. If you'd like to see how I came up with this fabulous look, fabulous, but a uh, sophisticated look uh, please stay tuned also if you're new to the madam sophie channel i'd like to welcome you i hope that you like share comment and definitely subscribe on your way out and to my all subscribers thank you for taking time out of your day for watching this video thank you for tuning in today and i hope that you guys like this video so on to the tutorial
Okay, guys, so that's going to be it for today. Let me give you my final um, my final thoughts about this eyeshadow palette. Now, this eyeshadow palette was purchased between the 20-something dollar range, but I was able to get a discount. <laughs> you guys know I'm, 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 I'm this discount over here. Um, I was able to get a discount off of this eyeshadow palette, so I did not pay full price for it. But definitely, I'm going to leave uh, the retail price of this eyeshadow palette somewhere on the screen, so look out for it. Um, my final thoughts on it. This is a really great eyeshadow palette. Yes, it is very much on the pricey side, but the pigment is very much there. I really thought that I would have a problem using the matte colors because I don't know if you guys realize when I was doing the swatches of these colors, um, I don't know if you guys realized that the shimmer colors stood out a bit better than the matte colors. Um, so I really thought that I would have a problem using the matte colors when it came to blending it out on my eyes, but these matte colors worked perfect. The pigment is there and uh, if the pigment wasn't there, you would not be able to see the purple in this eyeshadow a look okay and this this look is pretty different for me i really extended that wing liner i extended it all the way up here and normally i don't really do that much of an extension <laughs> so so um definitely the the colors are very much pigmented the shimmers are very much pigmented as well um i really love all of the colors in these in this eyeshadow palette um i think you could come up with at least five different looks using the colors in here even though yes you only have five colors to work with but i think that serious thought was placed into creating this palette because you do have transition colors in there you do have two shimmer colors in there um you could get a shimmery look out of this palette you could get um a not so shimmery look out of this palette you could get some matte looks out of this palette um and i think that the colors were very much thought of when they were putting this palette together now the colors in this palette they do actually have names they have names but they are located in the back of the palette i don't know if you guys can really see the diagram here this is the diagram that um tells you the names of the eyeshadows so i'm going to show you guys the names so this is going to be flint then you have linen then we have raisin and then this is blue dahlia blue dahlia and this one is called poison berry so these are the names of these um shadows um i think that they probably could have fit the names of the shadows somewhere down here or somewhere up here um but anyway i'm, I'm just saying <laughs> so um really good palette with great colors great pigmentation do you need to get it this no you don't really have to get this because i'm pretty sure there are other palettes out there that could provide you with colors very similar to what this is going to provide you with for some reason this palette 
kind of reminds me of the Jaclyn Hill vault bling boss now guys don't come for me I'm not saying that it is the exact thing I'm not saying that they're dupes but I'm just saying I'm just saying that this palette reminds me this part reminds me of the Jaclyn Hill vault um, eyeshadow palette which is the bling boss one um, and I'm pretty sure you guys will, could remember um, the tutorial I recently did on uh, this eyeshadow palette so this is what it reminds me of but then again yes it is amazing you do do you need to get it no you don't really need to get it because like I say I'm pretty sure you could get other palettes out there that would provide you colors very similar to what this eyeshadow provide this palette eyeshadow palette provides you with um, when it comes to the pricing I think that this palette just for five colors it is definitely on the pricey side but then again I really can't complain um, because the pigmentation is there the shimmers does have a buttery texture um, I did not have a problem blending anything out all the colors married very well with each other and I cannot complain I mean apart from the the, the price point of it um, so definitely this palette is indeed selfie approved if you'd like to purchase this eyeshadow palette i am not too sure that it is available at auto beauty i'm not sure if your local auto beauty call um I'm not too sure if your local Auto Beauty carries this uh, product line, but definitely I believe you would be able to get this product line at Sephora. And this is where I actually purchased this eyeshadow palette. So if you'd like to purchase this eyeshadow palette, I think you can get it in a variety of other colors. I think there's one with neutral colors, there's one with orange tone colors. I think I'm going to leave a picture of them somewhere on the screen for you guys to see. Um, but definitely, um, you get other selections in this palette. It's just because, you know, guys, I love the color purple. I just really love the color purple and I love the color gold and I love the color pink. Um, <laughs> it's just because I love the color purple. I would, I purchased this eyeshadow palette. Now, I, I don't know if I can get away from the purple thing, but next time I'll try to pick a different um, shade when it comes to pick selecting an eyeshadow palette um, but that's gonna be it this would be my final thoughts um, this is how I feel about this palette yes it is Sophie approved I'm not gonna say that it is gonna be a must-have for your makeup collection unless you really like the N Natasha Denona um, cosmetic line if you love it then go for it if you if you're not really much of a fan or if you want to try something out I don't think that this is gonna have to be a must-have it's just that I happened to be at Sephora when it was on the new uh, makeup display and I had a coupon uh, uh, a discount coupon to use that's how I ended up picking this one up um, but definitely purchase it if you if you if you're into the high um, and makeup thing so that's gonna be it for today thank you divas for watching I hope that you like share comment and definitely subscribe on your way out um, to my new subscribers and to my old subscribers thank you for hitting that subscribe button if you're new to my channel welcome honey I hope that you like share comment and definitely subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell on your way out to be part of the Sophia squad you gotta be part of the Sophia squad because you're a sophisticated lady that's why so you better hit that bell to be in the mix again don't forget to like share comment and subscribe don't forget to follow me on my other social media platforms i hope that you have an amazing day don't forget to be you don't forget to be fabulous don't forget to be amazing and don't forget to be sophie bye honeys